What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Carlos back again with another FIFA 21 Ultimate Team video. You know the vibes, man. We back at it. I've been getting this request for a long time, a long time. If you don't have me on TikTok, you probably wouldn't have seen the video, but um I've been getting a lot of people telling me to review my Ultimate Team squad and go in depth within each player and the bench. Um yeah, this is my Ultimate Team. I on weekend league i'm a decent player i'm not gonna lie. i'm not trash and i'm not good i'm decent last weekend i finished gold three with eight games i always finish gold three i never go more than gold three because more than gold three there's no point you're gonna get the same shit you know what i'm saying but um yeah this is my ultimate team it's a pretty decent squad most of this is untradeable i'm not gonna lie um yeah let's get in depth with the players all right, y'all, so this is my goalkeeper, man. Before y'all start, you know, talking shit, roasting me, let me speak first. This dude is a fucking goat. I kid you not. Bought him for 850 coins at the beginning of the game. 367 games, man. This dude's a club goat. He has the most goal. I mean, not the most goals. The most games for me in my club. Four goals, man. Sometimes when I'm, let's say the opponent's pissing me off and I get a penalty, I take my penalties with him and he always scores. Yeah, this dude, that click, I don't know how the fuck you say his name, but he's a fucking beast in this game, bro. He's a fucking beast. He's 82 rated, plays for Sevilla from Czech Republic. Um, he's really fucking good. Uh, then my other center back, I have Jules Kunde. I remember completing him and going like, this dude looks decent. Because I had a team originally with his base card, a 79 rated card. That card was already beast. And I did the objective, got his 82 card, even better. Now he got upgraded because Sevilla went up in the Champions League. This card is one of the best center backs in the game, bro. He is Varane type level. He has similar stats as Varane. Not as tall and maybe not as fast. But look, 76 stamina is probably his worst part. But this dude can win headers. He's physical. He's fast. He's 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 just all around a good ass card. And then bang, um, my other center back, Nemanja Vidic. I didn't pack him untradeable. I did him with the seven icon tokens. When I first did him, I was like, should I have gone for the pack? Should I have gone for Vidic? I chose Vidic. And in the beginning, I was kind of regretting because he wasn't that good. But then I kind of adjusted to him. This dude's a fucking bully, bro. He's a fucking monster. He I could you not, he catches up to Mbappe somehow. Um... 79 acceleration 79 sprint speed he catches up to mbappe he's so fucking good his slide tackles are insane his heading is fucking trash i'm not gonna lie his heading accuracy is 88 but in corners he never scores it always goes out goes above the fucking uh the goal he never scores headers i think he has like one goal for me but this dude is fucking physical as hell his tackles are insane he's really he's actually really good he has the power trait header i mean for clearing out a header yeah but for scoring not the best overall vintage i don't regret not doing him he's really good i re i recommend people to do him he's actually a fucking hidden gem in this game my right back rules breaker mukele let me tell you this dude is bipolar with me 290 games um one of the first that's i think it was the first objective card ea released so i did him um personally he's 50 50 for me some games he's like the best player on my team then there's some games where he just caught out of position getting fucking outpaced even though he has 89 pace um 93 sprint speed he's really fast but then some games he's just slow as hell he's something attack but not attack positioning but um his positioning in general sometimes he's fucking caught too central or too wide you know um or he's too high for some reason what are his work rates medium medium i don't know if that's good or not for a right back i'm not gonna like i always have my right backs on stay back while attacking but with him for some reason He's always caught out of position. It's really fucking annoying. Other than that, he's pretty good. I feel like his defensive awareness kind of lets him down on that 72. But overall, he's all right for me. Um, left back, Ferlan Mendy. One of the most hyped cards in this game. And I see why the hype is around him. This dude is a fucking tank, man. This dude's a tank. When I first got him, it was hard to adjust. Because I, I first started using him. I think I had um Alfonso Davies. And I had to adjust from him to Mendy. But Mendy's a fucking GOAT. Mendy catches up to everyone. 92 pace. This dude has like 4,000 pace. He's so fast. Strong. Good passing. 4-star, 5-star. Just perfect. 40 games. 
one assist. He's really good for me. But if I say the worst defender on this team, probably Mukele. Mukele out of my defense. All right, let's move up to the midfield. All right, we got on the left mid spot, Dembele, 6.7K. I think he rose up in price. This dude's a fucking animal, bro. The amount of times I've rainbowed people with this Dembele, man, it's fucking insane. 32 games, 15 goals, 4 assists. That's not bad. Uh, five star, five star. He's just, he's just fucking good as hell, man. He's fucking goaded. His stamina fucking sucks. His physicals just suck. He's better than that. His pace is fine. His shooting's all right. Passing's decent. Dribbling's amazing. Um, the only thing I don't like about him, he's super weak. Let's say if I'm running and like a Nelson Tomatoes chasing him, Nelson Tomatoes just shoulder to shoulder bodies the fuck out this man. But um, Flair, Flair, uh, Trey, pretty good player. Um, he's really fun to use, like, just fucking scaling through everyone. Alright, in my cam position, I have Foot Freeze Marquinhos. Let me tell y'all, one of the dudes, hands down, probably the best CDM. I use him in CDM in, in game, but this dude's fucking nasty, bro. 93 games, 6 goals, 12 assists, medium high, which is perfect. I have him on stay back while attacking. I mean, he's not the fastest, but he's he's pretty he's pretty fast. He's like a Sissoko, but with better agility and balance. But look at these stats, man. Like interceptions 87, heading accuracy 85, defensive awareness 88, stand tackle 88, slide tackle 88, composure 91. So even if he's somehow in our net, he always scores. Shot power 89 for a CDM. That's crazy. But these physicals, man, all around good. Probably the worst part is his strength. But he's fast as I mean not fast. He's strong as fuck. In game, he's bodying everyone. Everyone. That strength is lying. He has at least 85. Um very good. And his other CDM, N'Golo Kante. Lucky for me, I did get him in a 80-plus pack. 82 games, 1 goal, 6 assists. It's Kante, man. Since, like, what? FIFA 17, when he moved to Chelsea. Probably the one of the, one of the best CDMs in the game, man. He's so fucking good. He wins everything. He intercepts everything. All around, That's that 96 stamina comes in clutch towards end game, man. People are here like, you know, getting tired. Conte is still like on a 50, on 50%. He's so fucking good. His balance and agility is perfect. The probably the only downside about him, <laughs> he has no player traits. The downside about him is his, he's so fucking short. He's 5'6". Play a through ball, this dude's not jumping. He's not jumping for that. He's too short. But other than that, he wins everything. He's fucking tackling the fuck out of Mbappe. He's so good. This is my cam in game. One of my cams, Awar. When I first used him, he was fucking dog shit, four star, four star, high medium. But then, but then, I will use him on the outside cams. I put him at central cam. Dude's like literally the best player on my team. He's so fucking good. Four star, four star. Just rain. I love rainbowing people. I just rainbow people. Um, for the past two weekend leagues, he's definitely been my best player. He's so good, and he wasn't that cheap. Uh, he was cheap for me because I had fodder in my club. But look at these stats, man. Slide tackles, I mean, he's he was a striker, so obviously he's going to have trash defending. But, I mean, heading accuracy, 80. How tall is he? He's 5'9". And with 80, uh, heading accuracy is not bad. Jumping is pretty trash, but stamina is good. Strength is decent. Aggression is decent. This dude's a fucking beast, man. He scores goals for me. He's... Oh, I actually forgot. He's not the best player on my team. We're about to get to my best player on this team. There's you right here, bro. Holy... I remember when his SBC first came out, I was like, he looks decent. He fits into my team. Let me do him. Cost me like 20 k I just had to buy a Jan Summer because I had fodder in my club. Bro, when I tell you this dude is fucking nasty. If you have him, bro, use this, man. Get him on your team. Fit him into your starting 11. He is so fucking good. Alessandrini, 201 games, 231 goals, 120 assists. I don't even play squad battles like that. This is all div rivals and foot champs, man. Four star, four star, high, medium, perfect, left foot, perfect height. Amazing. Like, look at these stats, man. Fast as fuck. Amazing shooting. Amazing passing. Great dribbling. Great composure. I mean, strength is pretty trash, but he just fucking literally just run with him. He's fast as fuck. Jumping is pretty cheeks. Um, cheeks is, is not the best. Flare shot and outside the foot shot comes in clutch. Technical dribbler. This card overall is fucking my favorite card in the game. And personally, the best card I've used. Flashback outside Jr. He's a fucking goat, man. He's so fucking good. My striker in game, Gabriel Jesus. This dude's a fucking goat, man. If he had a four-star weak foot, he would be probably one of the like most meta strikers in the game. 
only downside about him he's super weak man he's so fucking weak people literally anyone just body him off the ball when he's running um 85 pace but i'm not gonna lie in game he feels way slower i don't know why but other than that he has decent stats um flare chip shot technical dribbler very decent very decent um he doesn't score most of my goals alessandrini noir score most of my goals but he has 25 goals in 41 games 18 assists high high but i have him on uh stay forward so he never um goes down the field but that's my starting 11 let me show you all the bench all right so this is my bench i mean obviously rip diego maradona fucking one of the best to ever do it did his sbc for the 50k pack and for the loan um i have two games with him never gonna use him unless there's like one game where i need to win i would use that one game and i at least have one game with him so i can use him in like foot rivals stuff like mbappe I mean, I don't really use him. Just one game. I can't use him. Sterling's fucking trash. He's good, but he's really weak. These are my subs in game. Nabry. I literally spent like 100k on him because I built I built a team around him with like Inform Kimmich. As a sub, he's my best sub, hands down. But as a starting player, wasn't good for me. Didn't like him. Bellerin. I mean, I only use him for pace. He's one of my subs too. He's fast as fuck, and he has good finishing. I'm not gonna lie. Let's look at this dude's finishing, man. He's actually, what's his finishing look like? Uh, shooting, finishing 57. But dude, this dude finishes everything. But then, bro, this dude, the main man, fucking a towel. One of the best cards in the game. Like, look at this. I put him, I put him at striker uh, around like the 70th minute for Gabriel Jesus. This dude, let's look at this dude's stats, bro. As a super sub, 162 games, 85 goals, 66 assists. Four star, five star. This dude's a fucking goat. Sad that um he's not getting upgraded, man. His team literally finished last in Europa League, but this dude's a fucking goat. This dude's probably top five best players in my in my ultimate team. He's so fucking good. Um, that was a tomato. I never use him, but I like uh, I just have him there. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. This is my ultimate team. Um, very all around meta players. Can't say you know Gabriel Jesus. These are meta players. Dembele, Mendy. Um, you know. It's not unoriginal because I don't really see people rocking Alessandrini, Mukele, you know, my goalkeeper. Um, it's not, you know, the basic teams, you know, Allison, Gomez, Veron, Mendy, Walker. It's not that team. This team still wins you games. I beat those teams. This team is fucking, this team is just a fucking goat for me. I love this team. Definitely the best team I've used on FIFA so far. I've built many teams. This right here is the best team. Um, but yeah, guys, this is my team. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Comment what you do in the next videos. Other than that, I'll see you on the next video.